Good afternoon. I feel like we started the last vlog in the same spot in my kitchen. This must be the spot anyway. Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I am Shayla and I'm just doing a little BT fountain because I was in need of a little afternoon pick me up. I normally don't start my vlogs at this time of day. I usually will start vlogging in the morning, but 3 p.m. I just kind of felt like hanging out with you. So here we are. It is feeling like officially fall today. Although I believe the first official day of fall is either the 22nd or the 23rd, if I'm not mistaken, at least here where I am in New York City. But I woke up this morning and it was, it was, there was a little crisp in the air. It was nice. I'm excited. However, with the change of seasons, I'm going to have to switch out my wardrobe. I grew up in California. If you didn't know that, now you do. Not just California, but Southern California, where it feels like summer year round. So I basically wore the same clothes year round. But now that I live somewhere where there are actual seasons, and I also have a very small closet, I have to change things out of my dresser and closet, have under the bed bags. I switch things out. I don't know that I have time to do my closet today, but I've really been wanting to clean out my dresser and just reorganize and see if there's anything that I need to purge and possibly start a fall shopping list of things that I might want to add into my wardrobe for fall. It's kind of late in the day to start a full on closet and wardrobe purge. Plus in I think like two ish hours, I need to head to a really cool event that I'm going to take you with me to for a TheraBody. They came out with this really cool mask. Kind of like, I think it's an LED mask. We're gonna learn about it. It's gonna be a fun little event. So we're gonna go and do that later. But anyway, back to the clothes. I feel like I just don't have enough time at this time to do everything, but maybe I can just start with my dresser and at least kind of get things reorganized. And I feel like even if you're watching and you are in a different part of the world and you're moving into a different season other than fall, it's just a good time as the seasons change to do a little reset. I actually have a podcast episode on a seasonal life reset. I'll link that episode down below. I feel like this year has absolutely flown by. It's kind of insane. Anyway, subscribe if you're new. I'm gonna start working on organizing my dresser and we'll see how we go. are going well and I will say it just feels so good to get things folded and organized in your drawers. <laughs> There's nothing worse than just opening up your dresser drawers and it looks like a hurricane hit it. Tell me I'm wrong. What I was just gonna say is that another thing that I do when I'm cleaning out my closet or my dresser or really any area of my home for that matter is I like to have a little list of things that, you know, like a, I might want to be on the lookout for. So for me right now, maybe like a new pajama set or two would be nice because the ones that I had are looking very torn up. <laughs> as well as, and I know you're gonna call me crazy, but I wear them a lot and I wear them out pretty quickly. A new matching sweat suit or two. I just wear them a lot and now that the weather is changing, I did get recently a couple of like shorts and sweatshirts, but it would be nice to get a new sweatpant and sweatshirt. I know I did just get one when I did my white fox haul, but I might like one more because right now I only have a gray one and then I have another blue one, but it's like a crop sweatshirt. It's a little chilly out for that. So possibly, you know, it's nothing that I need to buy today, but just to keep in mind, you know, so when I'm in the mood to shop, I have an idea of what I might need to add. And I also feel like I'm gonna want to replace some socks, which is a very random thing, but it's like, I feel like a lot of people are not paying attention to their sock drawers. I know I'm not. When your socks are just like holy and torn up and stretched out and not looking right. I don't know, call me crazy, but I just feel like it can make a difference. So socks is also going on my list. Finally getting to my active wear drawers, which I'm honestly frightened by because I've just been stuffing things in here and I don't know. What I think I'm gonna do actually for my active wear drawers is I think I'm going to pull the stuff out that I haven't been wearing frequently and just leave in the stuff that I feel like I'm reaching for most of the time. And instead of donating or selling things right off the bat, I'm just gonna throw it in an under the bed bag and see if I miss it. And then maybe I'll set like an alarm in my phone and in a month or so, if I haven't looked for it, then I could probably part with it. I can't even open it. This is not good, you guys. <laughs> I cannot even open this drawer. This is not good. 
Oh Lord. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're getting into it. And before you say anything about the amount of activewear I have, just know. I basically live in activewear and as a health and wellness slash fitness lifestyle content creator, I, I need to change things up. So I know I have an abundance of activewear, but we all have our things that we like, you know? Some people collect baseball cards. I collect activewear. <laughs> Time to take the gals out on a walk, and then we will head to meat packing to Soho House for this Therabody event. Let's go! Getting our little masks engraved, and we have changed into cozy sets. That event was so fun. That mask is really, really cool. I am on my way home now. The brand actually provided an Uber code, which is so nice. So I don't have to take the subway home. Speaking of really nice, Eugen, my best friend, who is also my neighbor, texted me that she made these amazing noodles and wants to bring me a batch for dinner. How'd I get so lucky? <laughs> so I'm heading home now and gonna meet up with Eugen, grab my dinner, and then I think my boyfriend's actually coming over to eat noodles with me that Eugen has made. What a perfect day. Tell me what you made. Here's the smashed cucumber. Oh my gosh. And then this you have to heat up, but this is sesame, garlic, um, chili oil with some roasted shallots and <laughs> sesame seeds, cilantro. Now, listen, I want to acknowledge that this mask is really scary, but it's actually so amazing because it's not just an LED mask. No, this is not sponsored. I'm just obsessed with it. It's an LED mask that has red light, infrared light, blue light, and it vibrates. It just feels amazing. It runs for nine minutes, and they say to do it nine minutes a day, like roughly six days a week. And it can help increase circulation, help with skin renewal, elasticity, dark spots, sunspots, any like discoloration on the skin, acne, it's just amazing. So I think I'm gonna make this a part of my daily self-care routine. They also sent us home with an amazing Barefoot Dreams blanket, which if you know me, you know. This is like my favorite brand. I have the robe on right now and it's just so cozy. I feel so grateful. So while I am doing my mask, I'm going to meditate and journal. And I feel like I'm multitasking, just so love that.
Getting ready for yet another influencer event. We're going to this cool event for this fragrance brand. It's a Zodiac inspired fragrance brand. I'm very excited because I love astrology and I love fragrance. It's really good. And I'm into all this kind of stuff. And they have a birth chart reader there. And I think it's going to be really fun. I had a very productive day today, gorgeous weather in New York. And I took my computer with me and worked outside as much as possible today. Because as I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, summer is coming to an end. And I'm trying to savor every last bit. So worked at a little cafe after Pilates and then worked by the pool for a little bit and read a couple pages. And that was just much needed feel very relaxed now and I'm excited for this event. I somehow have the sniffles again today. I don't know if this is allergies or if this is like a cold. I don't know if you remember, but before my trip to the DR, I kind of felt something coming on and then it completely went away and now it's back. Not COVID because I took a test. So I don't know. I really don't know. I'm assuming it's allergies. It is so tempting to put waves in my hair, but I'm, you know, still on my hair growth journey still on my hair health journey and i'm trying to not put too much heat on my hair so i'm not going to do that but <sighs> just don't feel right with my hair back like this but it's gonna have to it's gonna have to just work okay going to return yujin's little containers that she brought dinner over in last night which was so good and that was so nice of her and i need my water my bag Yes, there's ice in my water. Comment below if you're an ice water girly. I know, I know. People say ice water is not good for you, but I say ice water is better than no water and ice water brings me joy. And you gotta do what brings you joy. So we go with ice water. Getting my birth chart read. I'm very excited. Hi, it's a couple days later and joke is on me because that night when I got home from the event, I realized it was definitely not allergies and it was definitely a cold. And yesterday I spent the entire day in bed unwell. I'm a lot better today, but I could not vlog yesterday. So this vlog is very short. I'm sorry about that. This is probably one of my more uneventful vlogs. Sorry, this is life. And instead of not putting anything up, I just decided to edit what I have and get it up for you because I try to never miss an upload day. So I hope that you will show me a little bit of grace and hopefully I'll be feeling better so that we can pick things up again and have some fun because I don't like to be feeling like this. I'm rarely sick. And actually I was thinking about it. The last time I was sick was actually this exact time last year. I went back and looked at my vlogs and it was last September. So. I guess I can't complain. <laughs> Once a year getting sick is not so bad, but yeah, that's my reality and I'm sorry for the short vlog, but I love you so much and I will see you in my next video.